Before I went to Havana, I found a piece of music by a composer called Steve Reich, and it's called Variations for Vibes, Pianos and Strings. I wanted to see if I could work differently with an existing piece of large-scale music so that uh, what we see and what we hear might not necessarily be coordinating the whole time. The process was awesome. Each exploration was amazing and it's really different what we do in the company because what we do in the company is very physical and the Theo Clinker is a very conceptual piece. So this is how I came up with this concept where the audience are not listening to the same music as the dancers. The dancers have had headphones and they're literally listening to Missy Elliott, Beyonce, XX, Vivaldi, Bach, I think. Uh, whereas the audience are listening to an American composer, Steve Rye. So through the work there is a sonic wall, if you like. What you're hearing, what the dancers are hearing is different. But performatively I've really invited them to kind of come to the fore and to engage with the audience. So it's really not a, an alienating process to watch this piece. You're very much invited to be with them, except what we're all hearing is different from each other. For me, Listening Room is a really special work. It was a really, really amazing experience because Normally in the uh, company, we don't make that kind of uh, choreography. Theo Klinka respect uh, all the individuality of each person. So I love that because we have the possibility to be what we really are. So through working with them, I was really trying to tap in, tap into what might be instinctual for them or create a chance for them to make their own decisions, to have their own permission and license to respond how they want to to different pieces of music and stage that essentially. So it's very, very free, the work. It changes every night. I don't know what I'm going to see when I come to see the piece, but there's enough uh, structure in there to house or hold these different micro dances inside the bigger dance itself.